Yeah, we're cooking in the backyard in the mountains here with the with weekend vibes. So you said you had the VIP lunch. Let's see. Let's see if I can uh, make the, the viewers give you give yeah, the. Yeah. So this is the, the view, experience. The view of my deck over here, and over here we have the chairlifts going up to the 360 view and the zip lines. And uh, if you listen carefully, you hear people screaming as you go down. So this is a taste of paradise. Get the smell of the smoke of the fireside going. Perfect. That's life in paradise. Every day, man. Beautiful day. So Sandy does go from kitchen to kitchen. Yes. And today she's in the St. Martin family home. Weekend vibes. Weekend vibes. First time meeting weekend vibes. It's so nice to be here with Weekend Vibes. They're living here in the mountains. And what is the mountains called or this area is called? Paradise. We call paradise. it paradise. Okay, it's paradise and it truly is paradise. And today we are here in their kitchen and in their backyard and we'll be cooking some delicious duck curry and also fish, fried fish, some steamed fish and um, I don't know what else. A bunch of stuff. We'll, we'll yes. go down. Yeah, we'll yes. see. Yeah, tour to the garden. Yes, and I can't wait to show you guys the garden. I can't wait. We'll have Guyanese and, and um, Suriname style curry today. And US. Whoever, you know, we'll put all our heads together with us and the girls. And now um, make this nice curry. Let me show you. St. Martin Duck. St. Martin. Oh, yeah, that's right. I put that down here, St. Martin. So you gotta take that knife and put your block home, right? I know, I want this, I'm taking home this knife. No. <laughs> yeah, the, not, the, not, not the liver, the giblets. This is the giblets. Call it gizzard? Gizzard. Gizzard, gizzard. gizzard. Guys, yeah, so this is the gizzard. So what we do, Tommy, this is where the food and so goes in like this, like this, Tommy. So you take all this, this comes out like as a layer, mm -hmm. and that's when you eat it. Mmm. <laughs> And Titi Tabi can eat it. You know, you go to the supermarket in America and mm -hmm. grow up in this culture, all the meat is already cut. They, they don't even know it came from a chicken or a dog, you know. You have an apprentice here? You, you work for Sandy? <laughs> for Fanda. So, chef for today. <laughs> We're just um, doing a little cleaning, like just taking out some of the fine feathers and things like that before we wash. Okay. I'm gonna just prepare the seasoning. Yeah, we're just cutting up the seasoning for the dog, so we're using our. Remember, this is. Oh man, it smells good. Ooh, smells nice. Here, take a bite. Let me take <laughs> one. I'm taking a little piece. Get a milk ready. It's not very hot, it's mm -hmm. more for the flavor. Well, then I take the last piece because the seed, yeah, yeah. what I can taste by the seed part is a little spicy. Which is nice, it's, it's flavorful, spicy, no. Yeah. And I know you like pepper, mm -hmm. Andrew. <laughs> and what is this pepper called in, in Sona? Madame Jeanette. Madame Jeanette. Madame Jeanette. Madame. 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 Okay. Jeanette. Ooh, but why they call it that way? Ooh, I like that name. That's a nice name. Hot Madame. Hot Madame. Hot <laughs> Madame Jeanette. It smells really good. It's flavorful, man. It smells like that. A little bit like that yellow pepper. 
Now we have in Guyana, you know that little wrong one, like right? mm -hmm. not a wrong one, that little shapey thing, like right? yeah. like you put the seasoned pepper and I call it seasoned pepper, you yeah. mm, fried rice and chow mein. Yeah. That's what this pepper smells like. Also, we put it in dal. Ooh, yeah, nice, nice. There we go. So what we're doing now is putting all the green seasoning and this green seasoning is celery, not celery, broad leaf thyme and uh, um, basil and marman pork. So put some in there. And put some scallions. And of course, some fine thyme. But this is not quite the thyme that, you know, that we, you guys have this in sauna? This fine one or is it regular guy in one? This one? So. Yeah, this is more like the American type of thyme. And now I see you have some garlic. A little bit of garlic in there. The garlic have half reaper in it. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Put a little bit more in it. <laughs> and uh, some salt. O -o open the furs or above your head, yes. Oops. Salt. And what are these here you have? Those are the um, the masala, you have the duck curry. Okay. And we'll put, so we're using some of the duck curry masala here and uh, for seasoning. Fish. And I learned this, actually I learned this from Trinidad. From Chef. When they season the duck and so on, they put the curry powder mm -hmm. and all that stuff in it. The duck masala. How does it smell, Andrew? So just putting a little bit here. The best part is when you're eating it, when you're cleaning it. Do you, you, you want to put jeera also or just the purple this time? No, no, where is yeah. the jeera? In that blue. Oh, okay. And also, this is some ground roasted jeera. Is it roasted? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Got the jeera in there. Start marinating, you know? And, uh, now let's uh, mix them up. The finger is the best thing. Already. Hey. And then we'll add a, pretty much all the same thing we just add to this. We'll pretty much use the same ingredients for when we're cooking. Mm -hmm. With some a little bit of curry powder, masala, jeera, and all that good stuff. Yeah, so just mix masala from Guyana. We got it from our strength with And we're gonna we can use it. We have a goat and we season the meat already we sort of with some duck and gold ma and uh, goat masala and curry powder, so we're gonna just a little a little bit of masala. Tiffany, what do you think? She's an amazing cook as well, so we're having our opinion. This is this is a cook between the three girls. There's, there's one more secret, one more secret ingredient. How is this? How is it? Is it good? Uh, we, we can add some Suriname masala. Oh yes, yes, yes I want to add yeah. some. So this is Suriname masala? Yeah. Just smell that, just smell the fragrance of that. Okay. Yes. Ooh, it's different, yeah. it's more, more like turmeric. Yeah. And so on, it has more turmeric and so on. Like, yeah. This is like Indian masala. Wow. And this, that's, this is the name of the brand, Arpa. Arpa, with a price on it. <laughs> this, is, this is Krish's favorite masala. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Hey, let's, let's put some yeah, for Krish. So you see, we're cooking for everybody here. We're cooking for Krish. We're cooking for his lovely wife, yeah. Anita. Yeah. And we're also cooking for Stif Tiffany. She like a little extra curry powder. And we're also even cooking for Andrew. We love the little... Um, pepper, he like the extra the pepper. The extra pepper, not that. He like the liver and giblets and so yeah, on yeah. also in the curry. So we're pleasing everybody here. We're not putting as much as hot pepper as you would like. We got Tommy and John and the kids are eating. Yes. So uh, we'll put some of the sauna masala. This, this is gonna be good. And that's all our fixings pretty much. We're not putting anything else, that's it. Beans, balanji, karaila. Believe me, I'm thinking a way to fry up with some of this karaila and things like that. And some of the because it's from the mountains and it's organic. We can't get this in, 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 in the United States unless I grow it, okay? 
and right now it's so warm there nothing is growing it's not a growing season so i'm so happy that to have some of the vegetables so i'm here um, uh, growing up my mom always used the cane sugar the brown cane sugar to wash her meats whenever she do duck or you know goat or what have you so what we did here put some vinegar we put some lime and now we're going to put a little bit of cane sugar so this is the first time they're learning this for the first time yeah. you have to let me know how it, how it is I, I, I never heard about washing uh, meat with sugar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, this is yes, that's good. And it's um, you also wash with flour. Yeah, the I flour, know flour. Take a, yeah, yes. take a little slime and, and salt, salt. But first time I'm hearing about uh -huh. sugar. Yes, sugar. yes. So this you is from, never too old to learn. Yeah, and this is from Elaine's back here. Yeah, um, Elaine's family kitchen. Okay. My mom. Okay. I like playing with it. It's fresh and nice, you know. This is when you like food. It's like. <laughs> Oh, good, that's looking. And now we're so gonna. Some sugar for this line? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There, feel it. Yeah. See? There. And the lime is in there, but next time don't even put any lime first. Try with the sugar. Okay. And you feel it yourself. You feel it in your hands and everything. So, sometimes if you're out of vinegar, you can just yes. touch it with yes. some sugar. Yes. Yes. Sugar. Hey! <laughs> yeah, we're cooking in the backyard in the Mountains here with the with weekend vibes. It's the weekend, of course. And out there on the fire side, check out the fire. Nice fire. Gosh, such nice fire. This is what I remember most about your video. Is right here. This is it. It's not the dog curry competition or anything. It's this right here. Look at that, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Look how nice the fire is looking. Let's go jump. And these are curry leaf from the garden, from Andrew's backyard garden. Um, or carpoli, and we put that in there as well. So in Suriname, you also cook with the curry leaves because... Uh, yes, sometimes, sometimes. So what we need to do now, this is all our magic seasoning for making it curry masala style or sornam and our Guyanese twist. So we'll put all that in there. You can also put a little water and uh, mix it up and make it into a paste before you even put it in there. But you put it a little dry and now we're gonna add a little water. Nice aroma. You hear that sound? Yeah. It's like music in the ear. <sighs> That's when you know you're doing some backyard cooking. And it's the weekend. And now I start to... Um, guys, check out this view. I know weekend vibes, everyone here, our family here, weekend vibes in St. Martin, they're accustomed to this view, but for us, it's brand new. So we keep looking and we keep talking about it. I'm not repeating myself, I'm just happy. <laughs> And now we put some garlic and scotch and uh, hot pepper, the Carolina Reaper. And when, let's just go ahead and put some thyme in here. She's a, she's a, she is a chef, she's a cook, Sornam cook and Guyanese cook as well. She's here with our Guyanese family too, that's lo learning from them. But you have like two back, two guys in the background You're giving advice. Huh? Yes, we have two amazing we are, we guys are, here. We have Krishna and cameraman, uh, director, uh, uh, umbrella, umbrella man. man uh, look, 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 look at the umbrella boy. man. <laughs> umbrella man. <laughs> Just now get some water. <laughs> Mm, 
color looks good. What do you think? Perfect, man. You know that color? Nice. That color, Sornam color, is from your Sornam masala. Give you that Arfa color. Arfa masala, the best masala. <laughs> It's gonna get darker just now, though. No, when you, you're still gonna bungee it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, gonna yeah. get dark. So that's it, right? So that's it. Well, it's time for a shot. Yeah, we have a. We'll just throw some seasoning in there now, and then later at the end we'll put some more seasoning. But right now, what we'll do, we'll let it bungee. Bungee pretty much means it's simple. It's um like when the natural juices or water comes out from the meat. Or uh, as my friend uh, Donnie says, when it's spring from the meat, you cook that and let it cook down and then you can add more water to tenderize. But it looks good, it smells good. Sunny, that doesn't only look good, that just smells amazing. Oh, thank you. It's a, it's free combination. It's a family of love right here. And everything's from the garden, all the freshness, so can't go wrong. Favorite spot in the world right now. Look at this, oh, it's always very really nice. See the it's color, nice. the color is coming there, right? Yes. Mm. It's just infused right now. Man, I've never cooked one dog like this. That the different masala you guys mm -hmm. give, the different masala, the Guyana, the Sornam. That Sornam masala has something red in it. Like a rich something in it. Must be the chili, red chili. Mm -hmm. But look at that color, it's a brilliant color. Mm -hmm. It's like an India color. The food that you get from India, that's what it looks like, don't you think? Look at that color, look. It's such a brilliant color, I love it. It's a rich color, you see? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I love well, why don't you taste it? Give it a taste. Okay, I'm tasting. Mm. So yummy. The flavor is amazing. I like everything about it. All it needs is a little more pepper. I need I need to taste a little pepper. You need like a little I, kick. Yes. There's a little a little kick, reaper. not too spicy, oh, but a little kick. Already, right? Didn't we? Oh, no, look, look, look at the reaper oh, from the plate. So what we have here is a little piece of the Carolina reaper, which is the hardest pepper in the world, and I'm growing it as well. Do you have it in your garden? Mm, yeah. Yes. Oh, nice, nice, guys. Check it out. So just put it in there. Just a quart is enough. Yes. You can just imagine how hot that is. Right? <laughs> we have some warm water. Yeah. So we'll add our potatoes in there now. We're making this with potatoes and it's for Tommy and John so that they like the potatoes in the dog. I know many of you might say, oh my gosh, you put potato in dog. Oh yes, you do. <laughs> Try it, it's delicious. So we stir this up. And I will add some water for it to continue the cooking mm -hmm. until tenderizing. We're getting some baji in there too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Extra flavor. Is, is that enough for a little more? Yeah, go ahead. Are we gonna... oh. It needs to cook, right? So. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me see. Yeah, put, put all. Of it. You, you think we might need more? Let me put some more to work. Mm -hmm. No, no, I think this is good. We'll keep it on nice medium heat. Nice. So close this and let it just start to cook on a medium heat. You don't want to overpower it. You want to cook on a medium low heat so it takes its time and, and cook. So the masala, the curry powder, the garlic, the onion, the pepper gets into the meat. Here is some red snapper. I think we need seasoned it very nicely there. Look at that. Ah, tell us some of the seasoning you put in there. It's secret. Oh, it's secret. She <laughs> says secret. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, it's just basic standard onion, garlic, curry powder. I put some a little green seasoning. Oh, nice. Sounds yeah. good. Red snapper. 
So these are finished. It's in the corner. The good is the stamp. So we brown this extra, right? So yes. it's extra crispy. Yes, so extra crispy. The, and this is just, let just the view, to have snacks. Let the viewers know that it's not burned. It's just this is the way we enjoy it the most. And that's because baby boy needs a crispy odor. Mm -hmm. Yes, he likes it crispy. I like that color. Mm -hmm. Look at this, guys. So we put some of this pepper for whoever likes the spicy. And. Uh, so look what I have there is a nice uh, hot pepper and now we put the flavor sonam pepper. Close it up. Guys, this is my first home cooked meal since we've been in St. Martin. Thank you, Caribbean vibes. Weekend. Weekend. Weekend vibes. I keep saying Caribbean vibes because I feel like I'm here. Weekend vibes. And so thank you guys for Caribbean. having us in the Caribbean. How many people is that for? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're hungry, bud. I just said it's my first meal. Okay, go ahead now. Here, give me a piece, give me a piece. Um, this one right here. Bone piece. And, uh, maybe. Uh, yes, some snapper. Ooh, look at that, look at that. It has a spoon. And check this out. This is the, the curry. Oh, it smells good. Nice and dry with a little bit of gravy. Look at that. And I'm going to eat a little, I'm going to take a piece of his pepper. So I'm gonna, oh gosh, I can smell it. Did you smell that? Oh gosh, smell that, smell that. Gosh. Smell good. Oh my yeah, you can smell it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm afraid to break it open in here. Should yeah, I break it? Yeah. Smell it, smell it, everybody. Smell. Yes. Madame Chanel. Yeah. Remember you said that. Oh no, it's Ajuma, right? Ajuma. 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 Oh, that's a big one. Oh yeah, that's a big one, yeah, Ajuma. I leave the seed part for him, which is the spicy. So this is my my meal. And we have a little bit of um cucumber to go with it. I'm so excited. Gosh, I can't wait. You know, the big man is in the kitchen. Hey, hey, hey. Really? Because it's so expensive. I love Jasmine Rice. Like, oh, Everywhere. A good mechanic, you know, you need a good mechanic. What is that? Um, is that jellyfish? Yes. Yeah, I see sunshine. Right. Nice. Oh, it's nah. so hard with an arrow to it. Homemade wine, jamun wine, special wine. Cheers, guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Thanks for the vibes. Cheers, yes. cheers, cheers. 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 Salute. Salute. Cheers. Mm. 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 I have to taste it. I have to taste No, no, I have to taste it. Sorry, I have more. This is our way. This is like too tasty. Yeah. One more, one more. Tell me you're